Hello and what's up everybody, my name is LDT1982, um, just want to bring you some Domination gameplay. Uh, so, obviously, uh, Domination is probably one of the most, uh, sought after, enjoyable match types in any Call of Duty. In my opinion, every time I pick up a Call of Duty, I have to play Domination first. Um, so that's the kind of gameplay I'm going to bring to you, so, um, First and foremost, the tips I can give you, the number one tip I can give you in regards to doing a domination uh, match is knowing the map. If you know the map, you know the certain shortcuts and walkways and what have you, you pretty much won't have to battle. If you, you just got to simply know the map. And second, you've got to anticipate where people are coming from uh, to capture the map or capture the flags on the map. That's that's really important as well, just anticipating where they're going to end up. So, in regards to this map, people tend to focus and go for B, which is B down below. As you can see, that guy came from the window because they captured C. They probably spawned by C, so he's coming to B. It's like a natural thing to go for uh, B in this map. So, I'm just holding it down here. And my ass gets shot right there, but it's all good. So uh, we captured A. We got spawned from A, obviously. So let's see what we have here. All right, that's my teammate. I have no idea where the hell he's going, but I'm gonna do me for right now. All right. So that vantage point right there was not a good vantage point uh, to hold down B. I capped that son of a bitch. Alright, so yeah, that vantage point right there is not really good to capture B. I could just simply tell you that right off the bat. Um, now, I just see that clown come over here. He's going to go for A. Automatically, he's going to go for A. That's the only reason why he's going to go for there, and they already captured A, so I'm just going to be careful when I point out and go and pop him. Reload. And I get captured. Now this is too moved by me, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to take C, and the round is over. And we are getting dominated. We're getting beasted. We're getting our asses kicked. So I'm gonna come out here after I see this. <laughs> I don't know why people tend. If you know you're getting shot, the last thing you want to do is to lie down on the ground and essentially make yourself a bigger target. That really makes little sense to me, but hey, people do it, and I seriously think they're going to continue to do it. I'm going to capture A here. Boom, captured. Calling my care package, make sure there's nobody around. Nobody can pop my ass. Let me open up my care package, and I get the solo reflection tower. So this thing works somewhat similar to the Vulcan. Uh, the laser that comes from the sky, uh, but I find that it lasts longer, but it takes longer to take out a guy as well, so, and you'll notice it immediately right off the bat. So, immediately I go for B, because I know they're going to try to go for B. Um, some of them are smart enough to grab cover, got one of them. My team is controlling uh, C, well, A's going to take him, but I'm going to pop this guy trying to take A. Bam, got him. And that's it, and the system hacked. Alright. Pop his ass. Now, now, people tend to congregate in that room as well. They just love going in that room. Alright, rabbit punch him. And I get shot. But yeah, that room right there that you'll go into, people tend to go into. Now, there's a bombing run coming, so I'm going to go ahead and duck for cover, get in this room for safety. Taking out the window there, and see if there's any enemies coming that way. They're probably on the roofs. Securing so I'm just surveying the area there. That's my old teammate I'm shooting at. <laughs> Alright, we're securing B, so I'm gonna go over there and try to help him. 
and then I get flanked and I get shot in the back. Now, I gotta tell you guys something. This gun right here, the Ameli, is without question, without question, my favorite gun in Call of Duty, uh, Ghosts. I love the gun, I love the stability, the clips, the rate of fire, everything about it. There's a catch of grip to it with a red dot sight. You're good to go, man. You're good to go. And I love that they put this gun in Advanced Warfare. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to take C. I see somebody on the game. Put out my riot shield. Alright. Now I'm going to try to pop him. He gets popped. So... He tried to take me out. He tried. Just had a better gun than him and I put up my riot shield at the exact right time. I see my team. Alright, let's see. Let's see if there's more. Alright. Well, I see a guy right there due to him being lit up. So I'm going to light his ass up. And I get lit up in the back. Wonderful. I see this guy here. I get him. Here, we're gonna run, run. <laughs> Dumbass blows himself up. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting tri capped. We lost A. Now, I did something there that I shouldn't have done, and that is stray away from the one and only base we have under our control. So, if you're playing Domination and you're getting, you're getting beat, in regards to bases two to one, you want to stay as close to that base as possible. Or if you feel comfortable with going out, if your team is holding down that base so well, then you can go out and try to capture the other base. My teammates will try to get that care package. Try not to get those team care packages because they can rig them to explode. <laughs> I've been a victim of that. And it looks like we are going to lose this game. It's 198 to 96. They were just better than us. But those are some tips and tricks I got for you guys. Um, this is my very first commentary. I thought I'd try it out on the PlayStation 4. Uh, straight from the PlayStation 4 Share Factory software. Um, if you guys can leave a comment down below. Maybe even hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.